When it comes to storing Dynamics 365 documents in SharePoint, it is vital to ensure correct synchronization of permissions. This ensures that unauthorized SharePoint users will not have access to private documents and sensitive data if they don't have CRM permissions to do so. CB Dynamics CRM SharePoint Permissions Replicator is the only out-of-the-box solution that provides you with this vital security aspect by automatically synchronizing Dynamics CRM privileges with SharePoint permissions. In this video, we will show how to purchase and configure CP Dynamics CRM Permissions Replicator from Azure Marketplace. The first thing you need to decide is the payment model. There are two options. Bring your own license model. Here you pay for the Azure virtual machine from Microsoft. The software is already installed. You just need to activate the software using a trial or a paid license, which you can purchase directly from us. The link is given below in the description. The second option is to rent an Azure virtual machine from Microsoft with the software already installed and activated. The link is also given below in the description. Open the link for the variant you wish. Click the Get It Now button. Choose your desired plan. And click Continue. Azure Marketplace takes you automatically to the Azure portal. For this, you need to create a user login. If you don't have a user yet, you need to create a new one. Microsoft takes you automatically through the process. Make sure that your desired plan is correctly selected. Click the Create button. You would need to uh, create a subscription in case you don't have one already. Uh, choose or create your resource group, the virtual machine name, the region, the image, and the size. Uh, you also need to define the administrator account here. Enable RDP access to the virtual machine and click Next. Uh, choose the disk type for the virtual machine. Click Next. Verify your network settings and make any required changes. Click Next. Define your monitoring and identity settings. Uh, decide whether to enable or disable the auto shutdown feature. Click Next. Install your desired extensions if needed. Click Next. Define tags. Click Next. The Azure portal validates now all the given information, summarizes and gives a confirmation if any required information is missing or invalid. If the validation did not succeed, please go back and provide the required information. After the final validation passes, click Create. Wait until your deployment is set up and your resources are created. After a couple of minutes, all resources will be up and running and you can start working with them. You should see a similar screen. Click Go to Resource to navigate to the virtual machine you just created. Click Connect. Click Download RTP file so you could connect to the virtual machine via the remote desktop application. When you connect to the virtual machine for the first time, the software will be automatically installed. This process could take a couple of minutes. Once the software is installed, you will see CB Replicator icon on your desktop. Double click the icon to start the Replicator web interface. Log in using the default pre installed username admin. The password is given here. A good practice is to reset the admin password. Please click the user's link from the top menu. Uh, from here, please click the Reset Password button. Copy the URL given here and paste it to a new tab. Provide a new password. Click Save. Log in again using the new password. You could additionally create another user. Now you need to create a new tenant. Click the Tenants button from the top menu. Create New. Provide a name and optionally a description for the tenant. Click Save. Set up a connection to your Dynamics CRM organization. Please provide your organization URL. Decide how to connect to your Dynamics CRM. You have two options here, a username and password or modern authentication. For modern authentication, we need to perform a couple of steps. Log into your Azure portal. 
navigate to Azure Active Directory, App Registrations, New Registration. Provide an app name. Decide your supported account type. Type in your redirect URL. It should be similar to this. Please ensure that you provide the correct port number and host name. Click Register. Copy your application ID and tenant ID to the product configuration page. Navigate to Certificates and Secrets. If you have an SSL certificate that you wish to use, please upload it here. Navigate back to the product configuration page. Turn the default SSL certificate switch off and type in your certificate thumbprint. If you wish to use CP Replicator's default certificate, then please keep the mentioned switch on and click Export to download the certificate. Navigate back to the Certificates and Secrets page and upload the exported certificate. Once done, please navigate to API Permissions. Click Add a Permission. From Microsoft API's Permissions, click Dynamics CRM. From Delegated Permissions, check the User Impersonation Permission. Click Add Permissions. Grant admin consent if required. All right, time to create an application user in CRM. Log into your CRM organization, navigate to Advanced Settings, Security, Users, switch to the Application Users view, click New, switch to the Application User form if required. Type in your application ID, a full name, and an email, and click Save. Now please click Manage Roles. It's enough to select a system administrator. If you prefer to use a less privileged role, please check the documentation link given in the description below for the required service user CRM privileges. And navigate back to the product configuration page. Uh, click the Authorize button to grant admin consent to your application if required. Click Test Connection. If your connection did not succeed, please ensure that you follow the previous steps correctly. Once you get the above green message, click to SharePoint Configuration button to continue. Provide the SharePoint URL configured to host your Dynamics CRM documents. Decide how would you like to connect to your SharePoint server. You also have two options here, username and password or modern authentication. For modern authentication, please log into your Azure portal if required. Select the app that we created for Dynamics or create a new one. I'm going to use the same app we created earlier. Navigate to API Permissions. Click Add a Permission. From Microsoft APIs, click SharePoint. From Application Permissions, check both size.fullcontrol.all and user.readwrite.all permissions. Click Add Permissions. Grant admin consent if required. Navigate back to the product configuration page. Type in your application ID and tenant ID. Click the Authorize button to grant admin consent to your application if required. Click Test Connection. If your connection did not succeed, please ensure that you followed the previous steps correctly. Once you get the above green message, please click Finish to continue. CB Dynamics CRM SharePoint Permissions Replicator is now configured and ready to run. You could leave the replication switch turned on if you wish to start the replication right away. Uh, you could as well turn it off and start the replication later. Click Leave Wizard, which will navigate you to the Tenants page. Your tenant should be automatically selected. To start the replication, please click the Start button. This will start the replication and navigate you to the replication logs page. Here you could see the processing steps taken by the software. CV Dynamics SharePoint Permissions Replicator will automatically install a managed solution into your Dynamics CRM, automap your Dynamics CRM and SharePoint users, and automap the permissions. 
It will then read the security model of your CRM and apply the proper security permissions to your SharePoint folders. Congratulations, you just secured your CRM documents from any unauthorized access. Please check the other videos for info on how to configure users, permissions mapping, custom folder creation, and other settings. As always, thanks for watching.